Yo, what is good YouTube? This is your boy Endless, checking back in with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be installing a battery tender on this 2023 Sea-Doo Switch. I absolutely love this boat. It's a great boat, runs great, and I couldn't be happier. So let's go on ahead and I'll show you how I installed this thing. Let's get it. So first things first, what you want to do is, is you want to go to where the engine compartment is and you also want to make sure that you have a battery tender. The reason why I purchased this thing is because my battery has been acting up. This is a good brand and I'll go more into that here shortly, but I did purchase this from Bulbs and Batteries or Batteries Plus and it seems to be doing the job so far. So let's dive into installation. First thing what you're going to do is you're going to open this up here and pop this open. All right, now that you have the cover off, the next thing that you wanna do is, and I didn't film myself doing this, but you wanna get the negative off first. Very important, take the negative off first on the battery so you don't shock yourself. So take the negative off first, then unscrew the positive. And I've unscrewed those already. Uh, I did have to use a ratchet and it was size 10, as you can see right here. So now we're going to go on ahead and install the battery tender. The battery tender I'm going to be using is this one here, the battery tender 800. This is a weatherproof. It's basically marine grade. So make sure when you purchase a battery tender that you do get something that's all weatherproof because this is going on a boat and it could get wet. So that's the reason why you want to make sure that you have a marine grade or a weatherproof grade. Now, I just took this one out of the box, but I want to point something out. The wires that came with this are right here. I had started loosening this up on this jumper cable, but I already had a spare one over here laying around. This one did not come with this pack, but if you unscrew these on here, you see where these end points are? They will come off and it'll be the same piece. So uh, there's a 7.5 amp inside of this. 7.5, I know it's sideways, but it's 7.5. So we no longer need this jumper cable. There are some screws here. I'm not gonna need those because I'm gonna be zip tying this in there. And there's the battery tender. That's the main part. Here's the part that plugs in the wall. And here's the charging end. So now let's go on ahead and install this. All right, so I just finished tightening these on. So now that we have your battery tender hooked up, you can see the negative here, positive here. Like I said, you put the positive on first, then you put the negative on second. And something else is this wire here, you wanna make sure it's not hanging out or laying down here in the bottom. Sometimes this area will fill up with water while you're moving. So please keep that in mind. Um, there are a couple places where you can mount this. One spot being up here, there's a screw. And this will actually go right in, just like that, see? It'll hold right there. Or if you want to be really safe, um, you can also get a zip tie and zip tie it around here so that it's up in the air and you don't have to worry about it. It'd probably be your safest option, but for right now, I'm just gonna put it right here. Go on ahead and we have the battery tender wire here. I'm gonna plug that in. I've got the wire plugged in. It goes directly to here after it's plugged in. And now I have an outlet or an extension cord that I'm going to plug this into. So let me plug that in. You'll see the light cut on. And boom, as you can see here, it's a red light right there. So that means it's charging. The battery is low. That's the reason why I bought this tender. It's best to keep these plugged in until they're fully charged, then you can use them. Um, unfortunately, the last time I took my boat out, it started up about two or three times and then the battery died. And it's because it had been sitting over the winter. So always check those batteries, make sure you got those tenders installed. It's that easy, guys. This is not an OEM product. You could have bought BRP's OEM product, but this does the same thing. You know, if you want to, you can go buy theirs. Maybe one day I'll upgrade, but I really don't see a need to. And that is how you hook up a battery tender to your CD switch. That's your boy Endless. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Peace. If you enjoyed today's content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more how-tos and unboxings and tech-related content coming your way. That's your boy Endless. Peace.